Well, hello there, friends. Very important video today, one that I've been promising you for the longest time. We are going to talk about salt and how to salt correctly. I am convinced that at the end of this video, you will have a much better understanding how to train your palate to have the perfect amount of salt to everything you prepare. You heard me and many chefs before telling you salt to taste. What does that actually mean, salt to taste? Whose taste? Well, yours, of course. It means your taste when you decide there is enough salt. And that is what we're going to talk about today, how to train your palate. Well, nobody's born with a trained palate. You got to train. I'm going to show you how to do it. We know what too much salt tastes like, right? We age food, it's too much salt. We know that. But how do we really know when we don't have enough salt? And that's the secret. All we can do is test the, test the food and say, oh, it's bland. Uh, I can't really test any of the ingredients in that soup, in that sauce. For example, if you're making a tomato sauce, you should be able to test the tomato, of course, but you should also at the same time recognize with whatever herbs you have in there. It may be basil, it may be oregano, it may be thyme. You should also be able to test the caramelized onion, the, the garlic, the black pepper, all the ingredients you should be able to test. Of course, at a different level, some in the front, some in the back, but that's what salt is going to do. So today is a very important lesson because we all know that the right amount of salt can transform a, a dish, any dish, from good to amazing. So first, let's quickly talk about uh, why salt so important? Why is salt uh, an ingredient that has the most impact on all other ingredients? Salt can balance the acidity and the sweetness of food. It can enhance the flavor of most food. Salt can intensify the flavor and modify the texture of food. And let's not forget, then, the, let's not forget, then texture is a conductor of flavor. <laughs> So we must add salt to everything we prepare, including when we, we're making dessert and cookies and pastry. Think about the ingredient you're using when you're baking, like, a, like butter and flour and eggs. If you use those in regular day cooking, would you ever think of not putting salt with those? Of course not. So when you're making your cookie, you would be amazed what a few grains of salt, how much difference it will make. Next time you bake something, don't forget to put some salt in it. Let's talk a little bit about what salt are readily available at the grocery store. There is sea salt or table salt. This one has anodized, added to it, and, and they also add an anti-caking agent that makes it bitter, and, and it gives it a metallic test with a, a trace of minerals such as like, uh, magne magnesium, potassium. I really don't like that salt. Then there is kosher salt. Kosher salt is made solely from sodium chloride and has no additive added to it. It tastes clean and much more pure than table salt. I like to use diamond kosher because it dissolves quickly. And how fast the salt dissolves makes a huge difference. And will avoid may, having you putting too much salt in it. Because you may think you need more salt and, and you're going to keep adding it. And by the time it dissolves, you're going to have too much salt. So it's very important for you to know how fast your salt dissolves. Okay? So I also love Mediterranean sea salt. Mediterranean sea salt has not been refined and processed. It is clean and pure and usually used as a base for many flavored salt, like uh, onion salt, like mushroom salt. Uh, and it's, it's a wonderful salt. I love it. And of course, there is fleur de sel. Fleur de sel is one of the most delicate gourmet salt you can possibly taste. It is harvested by hand in the uh, coast of Brittany, in, uh, in France, in the region of Gironde. And um, I, I love it on salad, on watermelon, on steak, on fish. It produces a unique sensation with a crunchy, uh, you can actually crunch it uh, in briny finish. If you've never had fleur de sel, hmm, I highly recommend you give it a try on your next salad, or on your next steak. At the end, you cook it, you put it on there. It's crunchy and it's clean, and it's really special. All right, friend, so now let's talk about a different salt you know, in many recipes, the, the recipe will say to you a teaspoon or two of salt or pepper. A lot of recipes tell you to do that, and, 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 and I never want you to do that. Even if I wrote a recipe a long time ago, and just to write a recipe, when chefs write recipes sometimes, they just put, uh, it's best salt and taste, and uh, salt and pepper to taste. 
Never measure it. Why don't we want to measure it? Show you why. This is a teaspoon of salt. If I put a teaspoon of iodized salt, that, that sea salt right there, let me move it out of the way, sea salt, that's six gram. If I put the same teaspoon of kosher salt, that's two gram only. Can you imagine that? Two gram of kosher salt, this is six gram of iodized salt. So that's why we never want to measure. And another example, fleur de sel, only four grams. Um, uh, mushroom, three gram. Onion salt, three gram. Let me put those salt out of the way. So we know we never want to measure it. I just wanted to show you the difference in weight. So we want to weigh it if we have to follow really a recipe. If we're making a recipe for big quantity and we want to duplicate it, then you want to measure it. You want to weigh it. I'm sorry. You want to measure it. Use the scale. It's very important. Or you're going to learn to do it by taste. Let's talk about that. So if we don't use this, then what are we going to use? We're going to use our fingers. Use our fingers. Chef uses their fingers. They got a container, sometimes bigger than this. And they use their fingers, and that's how you grab salt. I keep this, my salt, in a, in a olive wood uh, container that I get from Provence. It's a, a from, from olive wood from Provence. And, uh, and, and I, um, I, I like to keep it in there. It keeps it dry, but it's got a magnet, so it closes. It. It's a cool container. So let's say that we are starting to put salt in the sauce. We're starting. So we would take as many fingers as we can put in, and we'll put it in here. Boy, that's like a four-finger salt. This may actually be enough for this, maybe a little too much. But let's say we don't not as big of a pot, and we're gonna go, we're gonna take three fingers. And let's say then we are, well, we're almost there. We think we're gonna take a two finger. Two finger. And let's say, oh, it's almost there. I can almost test it. Then we take two little fingers. We don't take it too much. You see? We have to learn. To, to take the salt and have the feeling of it. But that's not going to, okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. How do we know now that we have enough salt? We, we, we want to train our palates. Remember, you're not born with an educated palate. Nobody is. We think, some people think they're born with an educated palate. There's a few genius out there that are. I was not, and most of us are not born with an educated palate. We have to learn. And what's amazing about our palate, friends, our palates remember sensation. If I were to ask you right now to remember something that your mom made 10 years ago and you, you haven't had it in a while. Me, for instance, I can remember my mom, uh, black cherry clafouti, cherry custard pie. I can remember it. I haven't had it in 10, 15 years, but oh, let's talk about it a little bit more and you'll see I can start to salivate. I can remember our, re our brain remember test sensation in an amazing fashion. Now I'm going to want you to dig into that memory cells, and let's see. I want you to, because remember, we have to train our palate to recognize not enough salt, the right amount of salt, too much salt. We have to train that. Remember, we're not born with it. Like I say, we know, of course, if it's too much salt, it tastes salty. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a spoon. This salt, this tomato sauce I just made right there has no salt whatsoever. I, say, plain, I made it in purpose this morning. And I said, no tomato, so I'm going to test it. And I, <laughs> I really want to test it because I'm like, okay, it's missing something. Did I put any tomato in there? Oh, yeah, I can test the tomato. That's about it. I can test the tomatoes. But I tell you what, I know I got garlic in there. I know I got some oregano in there. I know I got some thyme in there. And, uh, and, and my caramelized onion, <laughs> can't test any of them. They're just not there. So now we're going to start the uh, salting process. All right? So that's, uh, this is probably a three-finger uh, 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 pinch, and we're going to give it a minute. We're going to give it a minute now. We really have to. And I want you to do this every time, friends, every time, okay? For the first 10, 15 times you're doing this exercise, I want you to train your palate. Remember, you have to train it. If you don't train it, you're not going to know. You're, it's not. Remember, chefs... It's one of the things in commercial kitchen, when we had new uh, students that would come in and they would come and do the apprenticeship, we would say, you know what, you're not going to get it right away, so don't worry about it. You're going to get it eventually one day, you're going to wake up and your palate is going to be trained because you, you made the exercise. So now I put what I think is enough amount of salt in there, and I'm going to go in there. I'm going to test it again. It's amazing how all of a sudden the herbs are coming through a little bit. 
and, and, and I can start the test my own, you know, if I concentrate. Another thing, very important, friends, when we do this exercise, it's not an exercise, we're doing an exercise. We, we don't want to be talking about the car, we don't want to watch TV, we, don't, we really don't. We want to concentrate on this exercise, at least for the first 10, 15 time you're doing this exercise, friends. Don't be distracted. Think salt, that's all you're thinking about. Salt and my ingredients and all the ingredients in there, otherwise you're not going to be able to train your palate. I promise you, if you do this exercise 10, 15, 20 times when you're cooking, you will master the art of salting to perfection. So, it's good, it's good, it's much better, it's much better, it's much better, but it needs a little bit more, and I think it's gonna give it me right there, it's gonna get it to me right there. So, I'm gonna put just, just a little bit more, and I think this amount of salt is gonna give me what I need. I think it's gonna give it to me, so we're gonna test it. And what I mean by that, it, again, I wanna concentrate, I want you to concentrate on all the ingredients I want you to concentrate, because that's how you know you have the right amount of salt. You can test everything. You can, you can, if, you, if you don't test everything, you don't, you don't have the right amount of salt. Salt will do that. Will extract the, the flavor of everything. You will be amazed. Right now, I'm, I'm perfect. I'm right now, I, I feel, I like it. So let's say you're doing the exercise, and you say to yourself, I like it. I like it, I think it's good. Because you're gonna get there, right? You have to get there. I mean, you're doing it at home now. You're putting it, okay, I got enough. I got enough, I'm good. So now here's what I want you to do. I want you to take a little bit of the sauce, and I want you to remember now, you added none of salt, you add what you think is correct, and now we're gonna take a little bit of the sauce or the soup or whatever it is you're making. Remember, this is an exercise to train the palate. And then we're going to take and we're going to put too much salt. That's way too much salt, right? For, for this little amount of sauce, you know, this is way too much salt, right? So now what's going to happen? We're going to test salt. You see? So now look. Now we're going to test it, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's really salty now. That's the first thing I test now. So yeah, I can test the other ingredients behind, and they're like, well, salt took over. Way too much salt. So why did we do this? Well, first of all, we didn't really ruin this, this whole tomato sauce batch here. We just do this, and now we mix it up, and that little bit that I ruined this with is not gonna ruin that whole batch right there, okay? So if you do that exercise every time, you're not gonna ruin it. You do, what I want you to do is do it every time, though. Not enough salt, what you think is the right amount, and too much salt, okay? You've already, and you do that every time, every time, every time. And I promise you, eventually, you're going to get to the point where you're going to understand what the perfect amount of salt is, because you've experienced it. You went from here to here. No, I'm sorry. This is not enough salt. This is too much salt. Where do we want to be right there? Well, you were there. Remember, you were there before you added the extra salt. Every time you do it, whatever you think it's correct, I want you to take a little bit out, put more salt. And, then, and I want you to experience too much salt. Remember, we remember something that your mom made 15 years ago, Now I want you to remember something that just happened to you. If you keep doing it, if you keep doing it, eventually, I promise you, my friend, you will have a trained palate that will make you a much, much, much better chef. I hope you try the exercise, and do me a favor, Please, please share your experience with us in a comment. We love your comment. You know, we read them all. No matter how many thousands we get, we read them all. We try to reply to all of them. And, and also let us know some of the fa favorite recipe you want to watch. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel, friends. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you again for watching. We'll talk to you real soon with another fantastic recipe coming up in the next few days.